Hello folks and welcome back to Snow Runner. This is my speed run and this is version 2.0 because I had a slight issue with version 1.0 and totally my fault. Um, let get back here. Uh, I was, nope, not main menu, settings. Uh, I was going to set up a, a multiplayer and I accidentally started a new game and saved it over my speed run. So I have to start the speed run all over again. No biggie. Uh, I wasn't, I was only 17 days into it. So, yeah, no problem. I can do it again and probably do it a little bit better this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at 6 a.m. And do like I did in the other one. My days are going to run from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Which will a 24 hour day in the game is about an hour's worth of video. So yeah, unfortunately, got to start all over again. And I'll see if I can do better this time. Make fewer mistakes. Because I was actually having fun doing this speed run. <clears throat> Had to uh, really pay attention to what I was doing, which I didn't at all times. And my planning wasn't the greatest. But I did think about uh, the plan that I was going to do a little bit more and tweaked it last night. So it should run a lot smoother this time. So we'll give it a shot. So what I did do was the other one that I was doing, I went ahead and took the videos off of YouTube uh, because it really didn't make sense. I couldn't get back to that point again. So it was easier to just, or it's better to just start all over again. And some folks out there gave me some uh, helpful tips that can speed me up a little bit in this and I appreciate that. So I promise I will do better this time. And I'll be a little more careful uh, not to save over my gameplay. Come here, we'll open up the watchtower. And we've got an upgrade discovered. I will come out and get those here in just a bit. Try not to flip my truck here. I did not mean to get all the way over in that mud. Got that. And I am going to play it just slightly different than I did before. 
and instead of getting in the GMC I'm gonna go go ahead and get the upgrade for the fleet star that I need So today I had the grandkids up, so that's always fun, and one of them uh, asked what my YouTube channel was because they don't, you know, it's just something I do for fun, I don't advertise it to people that I'm actually doing this, and I told him and he said that uh, he was going to check it out. So, a big shout out to you, Roby, if you're watching this. We were talking about uh, making money off of YouTube and social medias and stuff like that. And I was telling him, yeah, that's not what I'm doing. I don't want to make money off this. I'm just having fun. And as long as I'm not making money out of it, uh, any time it becomes not fun, I'll just quit. Got a little airborne there. Alright, so let's go over here and get the GMC. Get you fired up and let's get this first mission out of the way. Well, actually not the first mission, it's the third mission. First mission is finding the watchtower. Second mission is my first truck, which I have right here. And my first truck is not the greatest truck. Which is probably why it's your first truck, but it will be. Took our winch up. Get this trailer out of here. Because I need you. New trailer discovered. So the focus of this playthrough is to try to get through all of the regions and to complete everything in the region, all the tasks, all of the contracts, all of the timed events, get all the vehicles, find all the trailers, sell all the trailers, and then move on to the next region and see how long it takes me to do each region. So how I'm going to determine that, the easiest way to do it is to go by days. Game days, that is. Uh, come on now. Sometimes this truck will make it up here no problem, other times it gets a little stuck. But now we cooking with grease. And we're also cooking with rain. So I forgot to look up whether or not they have it to where the weather affects the terrain. Like the uh, mud gets thicker or gets a little more slippy when it's raining. I 
I meant to look that up last night and I got kind of aggravated with myself because I saved over my gameplay and didn't do it but I will try to do that tonight later on Alright, so I am going to take a second here to go over my missions and it's locked. So all these will be locked. Steel River. Go ahead and activate that. And I don't think, yeah, I can't do anything else until I, oh, wait a minute, uh, get to the garage. Because I keep forget. Oh, it won't let me. Not till I do the bridge reconstruction. I have to remember that. As soon as I get this done, I have to activate the garage mission. So for this mission, it is one steel and two wood. So we're going to make that delivery, and then I'm going to head back this way. Pick up two more steel. And then we're going to head for the garage. Don't know why that trailer keeps trying to jump over the truck. One of those things, I guess. I've even tried going slow through there, and the trailer will still try to jump over the truck. But as long as it doesn't wreck me, I'm okay. Skip that scene. This, all those are going to do for me right now is slow me down, and I've already seen all this done before. So, if you want to see these cutscenes, you can check out one of my other videos on YouTube or watch somebody else playing it. Or get the game and play it yourself. It's a fun game. I actually really enjoy the game. And it can get easy at times. But it all depends on how you play it. You can make it much harder as I did in my self-imposed hardcore mode. So I made the game much harder and I actually enjoy it harder. Come on, there you go. This is not a very good truck. Uh, it's good on the hard road and in really light off-road, it's good. But it really sucks in the mud because it does not have all-wheel drive. And we are going to fix that in the next couple of episodes. I'm going to go and get the, like I did last time, and get the um, off-road gear, uh, the uh, all-wheel drive upgrade I forgot can't knock that one over and put one in the trailer 
Now I would go ahead and undo these rocks, but I can't right now because the road is blocked off. Now you've got the rock slide on up the hill there, and I thought I would go ahead and do that. But until you find the garage, you can't get up through there. Actually go around through the woods, but in this truck I don't trust that. See, I revamped my plan a little bit. I'm going to do things just a little bit different. Trying to jump over the truck again. What is the hitch goes down so low that it lifts the front wheels off the ground on the trailer. But yeah, I revamped my plan. I think it'll work better. Uh, I have, at least in the first, at least on this map, uh, I should have fewer times when I'm going someplace without a load on. And I'm actually going to use the materials that are provided in trailers a lot more. So we'll just see how that works out. So I know I need concrete, uh, concrete blocks, and steel for this. I know for a couple of other missions on up a road there, I'm going to need steel for one of them and concrete blocks. So let's detach the trailer here, and I'm going to bring another truck to pick that trailer up when I'm ready to complete this. Wait, wait a minute. And we're going to drop the steel off. And then go open up our garage. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I don't like how the brakes work when you're an automatic because you hit the brakes and it's like a second delay before the brakes actually kick in. Now if I'm in uh, high or in low, when I hit the brakes it actually engages the brakes right then and there. So I like that better. And I still wish there was manual gears for this game. Maybe it's an update we'll get one day. There's a pickup over there that I've got to get. But first I need the garage. Got to remember, open up the mission before I get in there and accept it. <clears throat> so my plan is to come up here, get the load star in, do some work to some of the vehicles, mainly the load star and to the con marshal and then get the lodestar back to town along with the con marshal and then get the navistar and this one headed back that way also but i've got to upgrade this one first not upgrade it but uh 
change my add-on. So I got my upgrade. And I forgot. Got to do my mission. Get to the garage, activate it. All right, more money. Then we get in here and go get my new truck, the Fleet Star. And let's do some customization. I don't think there's much I can do to it. I can do that. And upgrade my tires. Take the cheapest, taller tires that I can get. And make sure I get that. And then I'm going to need a flatbed and loading crane. And I think that is all I can get right now, other than changing the collar. So let's get our Con Marshal out and our Navistar. Customize it because I can get no, I can, uh, no, 24,000. I can't get the bigger engine yet. Uh, don't have enough money for that yet. But I'm not going to forget to put the saddle low on it this time. And miscellaneous. So we're going to get rid of these. Uninstall and sell it. Give me a little extra money. And then change the collar on Old Smokey here. I'll call it Old Smokey. You'll see why here in a minute. I definitely want the bigger engine. And I don't think there's anything else I can do to it. Tires are about the same. I want the ones that have more tread on them. Can't get that yet. But I can sell that. Frame add-ons, can't do anything to it. Uh, miscellaneous. Nope. Nope. Get the hunter bumper. Don't care about rims. And we'll go ahead and do the paint job. So we've got that one all I can do to it. That one... I need to come down and change that to a saddle low. And you'll see why here in a bit. Alright, so I think I got everything upgraded the way I need it. And let's get these things moving out of here. Go back to the garage and the con marshal. It's much easier to pull the con marshal someplace than it is to drive it. Because this thing is a pain in the butt to drive. But it does have a purpose. forgot. I need you. Oh, not winch. Trailer.
attach my winch. And we're off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here as I'm going back to town because I need to go to town and pick up more stuff. Uh, I am going to use the con marshal to get some upgrades and do some missions on the way. Fairly easy for the con marshal to do. But it will save me time. Stop engine. Change trucks. And I've got an upgrade over here I want to get. But I want to do a few missions before I take the uh, Navistar out. Because I need... Oh, easy. I need the money to do a couple upgrades to it real quick. Come back around. Camera's throwing me all over the place. There we go. trucks fire you back up and attach my winch and we're off again to the next one Now, I can go up here and get a watchtower, but I'm going to do watchtowers on this side of the map. I will do them after I get the map opened up a little bit more. That way I can do them in all in one fell swoop. Okay, we'll drop that off. So I just dropped the con marshal off. Go over here and start on this delivery. So this should be farm tools, I think. And now that I have... Yep, we'll accept that. Power lines, we've already accepted. Can't get any of those, are locked. But I can get these. Lost container, Steel River Supply, go ahead and uh, get those, that way I don't forget. Alright, a little more money, and we'll continue on with our mission. Could have brought the con marshal a little closer. That's all right. So hopefully this is one of the few times when this truck will be going someplace without a load on it. tried to maximize my effort. Every time something goes out of the garage, it's loaded or it's pulling something. Not that one. And 
to you. Come on. Getting wrong buttons. That's what I get for having big fingers. Eight gallons, that should be enough. Come on, get some power down. So I'm going to open this watchtower. I have a farm truck over in here that needs pulled back. Needs pulled back to the farm. Watch that. It'll give me the missions now. Come over here and get this truck. And then we'll get the Chevy pickup that's out in the mud. Deliver it because it'll be close by to the delivery point. And that should give me some money. that I gotta go further out here line of sight with the bumper oh shoot I meant to let go of the winch and I really let go of the winch Come on, don't sink up. Something you gotta watch in this game. If you sit too long in one place, you can sink the truck up. Let's try that again. The uh, truck starts sinking in the mud and it'll make it that much harder to get out. And that goes for any vehicle. Is this thing even helping me? So up here is one of the free trailers I can get. So the trailer will be long to me once I re uh, discover it, and all the fuel inside. Accept that mission. The so recommendation if you're playing the game, anytime you come to one of these missions, the uh, dancing ants, the yellow boxes, go ahead and accept the mission. It can help you in the long run been a few times when I've tried to deliver something and realized I never accepted the mission and in order to accept the mission it's the dancing ants are halfway across the map so that's kind of a pain all right there's one down Whoa, he's We're jumping off the end there. So 
So the Con Marshal is a vehicle that you get for free if you have a season, season pass. Accept the mission. So, but you don't get it till you open up the garage. Now the Navistar, which is that big 18-wheeler that you saw, that one you have to buy. So when the game came out, I uh, probably played it for a few months and then decided to go ahead and get the season pass. And when I got the season pass, I thought I got the Navistar, but I did not. I had to pay real money for that one. And when I got it, it was $1.99. Been promoted. Yay. So I figured it's a good price for the truck, so I went ahead and bought it. And I'm really thankful that I did because it's a heck of a truck. It takes longer to get the upgrades uh, for like tires and stuff like that. So I think I cannot upgrade the tires till I'm at level 11. But the truck does really well, even with the street tires. Back up a little bit. Change my truck. And like I said, I need to pull this thing because it has an issue with once you get it up to speed it will just dart to the left or dart to the right and you never know which way it's going to go but you do know it's going to go one way or the other and it is just a pain in the butt to drive unless you're doing off-road once you get on the hard road again it's a pain And I'm going to first person because this truck is much easier to drive in first person. You try to drive it in third person. The steering is just not right. There are a couple of trucks like that. The M19 is almost undrivable. Which is a truck that I normally do not get. I have tried, every time there's an update, I get the M19 and I drive it to see if they fixed it, and still yet, nothing. It just does not want to turn properly. It's like there's a, um, a half a second delay when you turn the steering wheel, and the time that it actually starts turning. And I really hate that. Okay, so we would drop you off here. Still good on gas. But I'm not coming back this way. I better fill it up. And this truck has about the same thing with the steering. Uh, you move the joystick to the right, and it's like a split second before it actually starts turning. Not as bad as the M19, but still yet uh, makes it much harder to drive. But in first person, it's not that bad. And then if you move the joystick all the way to the left or right, then it just really darts to one side or the other.
Alright, come out here. I'm going to pick up this trailer. Because I need the steel and the vehicle spare parts that's on this trailer. Again, a free trailer. It is mine. I can do with it what I want and with the cargo. Now normally I would just dump the bricks once I'm done with this delivery. But there is another delivery that requires bricks. Going to the... Let's see if I have rock slide on here. Nope. Because uh, that's where I'm heading is rock slide. And I want to make sure that I get this mission before I get up there. I think I can still accept it once I'm up there. But I don't want to take a chance. So it would suck to get all the way up there and then realize I gotta drive all the way back down here. And it's not that far. It's just up there where that second street light is. But still yet, why well, do that when I don't have to? Come on, baby, dig in. And the SnowRunner gearbox is something else I need desperately on these vehicles. Which I will go get when I get the P-16 here in a couple of episodes. Take you two. More money. Now let's get this beast turned around. Excuse me, trees. Don't worry, the trees will grow back. Matter of fact, if I leave this region or um, leave the game, when I come back in, the trees will be back. They're magic trees. Go ahead and pick you up. It'll be a few episodes before I get to that one, but never pass one up. If you're unsure if you have accepted a mission, go ahead, go in there and try to accept it. It will help you in the long run. Here, I unpack cargo, catch trailer, turn this monster around. So I want my crane on this side. 
right about there. Uh, activate the anchors. And go ahead and get my crane out. Over out of the way and then shut everything down. Because now... Oh, that was right the first time. I need to go to the con marshal. And we need some upgrades. I need that upgrade. Then I need to drive up here. I need a scout vehicle. And then I need to unlock this watchtower. The other watchtower I'm not all that worried about right now. And... Yep, it's one right across here. Some lights on. All right, take it easy. Vehicle does okay here, but it still will jump off to the right or left if you're not careful. So you have to take it easy and some of these roads up here are very narrow. If you screw up, go too far one way or the other, you could end up driving off the road and crashing. I do not have an autonomous winch on here yet. So if I roll this over, I either have to recover it to the garage or get another vehicle out here to flip it back over. And I don't want to do that. That will take time. So I think this is an upgrade for the Chevy. head for the Scout 800. Actually, it would be another upgrade and then the Scout 800. I think there's another upgrade. So why am I doing the speed run? Well, to see if I can do it and to see how long it can, uh, how long it would take somebody that is that plans. Man, that hurt. To see how long it would take to clear each of the regions. And I was just looking for something to do to fill the time until update 7.0 comes out which is tomorrow. Excited about that. So, new update. Got some bug fixes in there. New map. A new vehicle, the Warthog. And from what I understand, this new map is the toughest of them all. Plus, there will be some new missions here in Michigan. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Will it just be, since I'm here in Michigan now, will it just add those missions? Or will it be something I have to, say, complete mission, uh, complete... Uh, all the way up to Lake Cove in order for the missions to show up here? I don't know. So we 
we will find out tomorrow. And as I said in when I did the 1.0 version of this, uh, I am going to continue doing this to see how long it takes. And it will be up to you guys leaving comments. Do you think that I should continue the playlist? Uh, would you like to see each individual day? Or would you rather see like every five days? Every ten days? To see how I'm doing in it? I can do any of those. So let me know what you think in the comments. sure I'm not missing a road. Nope. Could have actually went down here. But I'm already up here. And I'm still good on gas. So where I'm heading now is for the Scout 800, and in order to get to that, you have to go down this road. Well, down and then up. And we have Dancing Ants here. So if you don't know what a Dancing Ant is, it's way back in the DOS days. You had these little marks like this on the computer to add things or it's just a computer thing and they called them dancing ants used to do computers a lot back in the day. Not so good anymore. I never really kept up with it. I mean, I remember when I took a telephone and hooked it up to... took the telephone off the hook and hooked it onto a box and that's how I would get to talk to other computers. I used to do that a lot. And my interest changed. Way back in the 80s, I would have been considered a hacker. Not anymore, though. I just kind of got out of computers. Got into other things. Like the army and dirt bikes and stuff like that. Alright, so let's refuel. Fill the con marshal back up. I don't need fuel in the scout because I am going to recover the scout back to the garage. And we'll go back to the con marshal and I have whoop whoop whoop. Back this way. I have to go get this watchtower. And then we're going to move into the Navistar. And the GMC. They both have missions.
So the Navistar is going to go get the ramped flatbed that has the concrete on it that I need for two missions. The GMC is going to come back over here to the town. And it is going to help get the rest of the stuff I need for those two missions loaded up onto the... Easy. Get it loaded up onto the um, Fleet Star. Because two of the items I need for the next mission, the next two missions, are on a flatbed trailer. Unfortunately, they're tied down, so the cargo is packed. And the only way to unpack it is to take a truck with a low saddle hook up to the trailer to unpack it. So the GMC has to come back here. Which is why I put the low saddle on the GMC. So it is getting about morning time here. It's getting closer. And we're talking about in the game. And I think I have done pretty good for day one. It's going to open up some stuff. And I'm going to get this out of the mud. And back to the town. Where it will sit until I need it again. I could recover it back to the garage. And I've had a couple of instances where I have recovered something back to the garage. And a little while later... I wish I would have left it where it was. And we're going to leave you right here. And go back to our garage. And I want to retain you. And then sell your butt because I hate this vehicle. Only thing I use it for is a uh, rolling repair or gas station. Because it just tips too easy and I just I can't stand that. So we get all smoky out here. And Up, oh, nope, I screwed up. I need you out here, but old Smokey needs an upgrade before I get going. And let's see if I can get the bigger tires. Uh, suspension. 11,000, yes. Sell that. Put some 49s on it. And let's try these this time. And I don't think I can get the engine. Nope, I'm just short of the engine. So what can I do about that? I know what I can do. Up oh, GMC. 
Step in the daylight on me. New trailer discovered, and if it says new trailer discovered, that means it belongs to you. And test trailer. So if this belongs to me, I can sell it. And that should give me enough money to get the bigger engine on the Navistar. And I really want that bigger engine. It'll make every it'll make things a lot smoother. Yes. And it gives me a little more money back. So saddle low, got all that. Uh, miscellaneous. Nope. There we go. I want to get the LED fog lights. And I think that will do me. All right, so it looks like it is 6.10 in the morning. So I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what I need to improve on. Is this something you would like to see a whole series on? Um, and I guess I will see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.